The fuel pump has a plunger and barrel. A rack is fitted to the pump to engage with a pinion machined on the outside of a sleeve. The sleeve fits over the plunger and rotates the plunger as the rack is moved. The plunger reciprocates inside the barrel to pressurize the fuel. The plunger has an helical groove cut on its side. The barrel has ports cut on its side. Fuel enters the pump from the supply system through the inlet connection and floods the fuel chamber surrounding the barrel. When the plunger is at the bottom of its stroke, the fuel flows through the barrel ports filling the space. Above the plunger, the vertical slot cut in the plunger and the cutaway area below the plunger helix. As the plunger moves upward, the barrel ports are covered and compression begins. As the plunger continues to move upward, fuel is discharged through the lifted delivery valve into the high pressure pipe. Fuel delivery stops when the plunger helix uncovers the spill port. The fuel spills back to the fuel chamber through the ports. The delivery valve returns to its seat and closes. The quantity of fuel delivered is regulated by the vertical length of the helix where it is in line with the port. The vertical length depends on the plunger position. The plunger position is altered by rotating the plunger. The fuel injection will start at the same time for all plunger position. The time at which the injection stops will depend on the plunger position. The plunger position is controlled by the fuel rack. The fuel rack of the pump is connected through linkages to the main fuel lever and the governor. The fuel injected into the cylinder is controlled 